Hello all. And welcome back to JMeter community. A lot of friends has personally asked me for bean shell tutorial. And so I have decided to include a bean shell tutorial first. Ahead of the JMeter components. So, in our first video for bean shell. We will look into transferring the values in and out of the JMeter. Here we will discuss two actions. 1. Transfer the values in and out of sampler, preprocessors, and postprocessors. 2. Transfer the values in and out of files, present in the local machine. As this is a bean shell tutorial, we will use bean shell for all these actions. Transfer the values in and out of sampler, preprocessors, and postprocessors. To input a value, we will use vars.get method. In this script, we have testing underscore value as variable name, whose value is jmeter. To bring this value inside the bean shell sampler, we will use the syntax as x equals vars dot get testing underscore value. Now, the value of testing underscore value will be stored inside x, which we can use for manipulation. How to manipulate and work with those values will depend on the requirement, and I will come up with it in coming tutorials. Till then, let us focus on the input and output of the values. Let us test the content of the testing underscore value. We can use log.info for testing. Once we click on run, the log panel should show a message between the hash sign or pound sign for some viewers. And we can see that, jmeter is shown between the hash. This shows that our x contains jmeter. This way we can use vars.get to input any value into the bean shell sampler, preprocessors, and postprocessors. To send a value out of the it. We can use vars.put method. Let us change the value of testing underscore value to community. Now the testing underscore value should have changed from jmeter to community. Let us check it by adding debug samplers before and after the bean shell sampler now we will add view result tree and run it in view result tree we can see that the initial value of testing underscore value was jmeter which changed to community after vars dot put method inside the bean shell has run in this way, the values can move an end out of the bean shell sampler, preprocessor, and postprocessors to move the values into a file and out from a file. We will use bean shell as well. However, that will be a bit long, and I will come up with it in the next part of this video. Till then, goodbye.